look, guys, you do not need my approval or disapproval every time you mention eating somebody. It's okay. You've been eating people since the very, very beginning. And after a hard day's work, there's nothing I like better than a room temperature bucket of wonderful Beppe soda. Well, howdy, 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 nerdy senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to a brand new day. Today is Sunday, the 2nd of October, as I record this at 8.08 a.m. And today's forecast, we're going to be in the mid-80s again. Ten years ago, on September 1st, it got cold. Now we're mid-80s in, in October. Yay! And son of a gun, Amelia is actually eating more this morning, so that's good. I mean, she's not eating a ton, but she's been eating more, and I can definitely deal with that. That's a good thing. So, she's doing okay. Thumbs up for that. And of course, front loading videos, hey, if you could toss me a like, that'd be very cool. If you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be awesome. If you could leave me a comment, that would be double plus good. And of course, I would like to thank each and every one of my Patreon patrons, these literally beautiful and literally awesome people who are in fact literally beautiful and literally awesome. They help keep me and my pets alive. And that's a very good thing. I do enjoy metabolizing and I know that my pets do as well. So if you would like to help me, like one of these people, is to stay alive, uh, as everybody should, uh, I have links in the video description, as well as there's PayPal if you don't want to become a patron, and there's an Amazon wish list if you don't want to send any cash at all. Also a P.O. box if you wanted to send me anything from postcards to keychains to anything you like. Thumbs up for that. Yay! <laughs> I'm salivating around my dentures again. Yay for having chunks of plastic in my mouth all the time. Oy vey. Yeah, so it's been a day. <laughs> Yesterday, after vlogging, I usually, after I vlog, spend a couple hours just relaxing till about noonish, and then I try to record something, sometimes 11, sometimes 10, depending on how active I feel. Yesterday, I wanted to go up to the library to get some printing done because on October 1st, I suddenly had 44 bucks worth of printing that I could do again. And there were some things for the solo RPG stuff that I wanted to get printed but couldn't because I ran out of money. <laughs> so, yesterday, walked to the library, got some printing done, walked back. That took an hour and some because I don't have a working vehicle. I got to walk everywhere. After that, I needed to recover a bit because I needed to take a shower. Whenever I take a shower, that's I walk into the shower bathroom, the bathroom where the shower is, and two hours later, <clears throat> I walk out completely finished with all of my, you know, the towels and stuff like that, and shut the door, and I'm finished. So that's two hours right there. And that is like going on a six mile walk. I am exhausted and sore when I am done taking a shower. And I still needed to go on my six mile walkies because with no vehicle, I have to largely purchase the next day's food and such the night prior. So I have to go on walkies like it or not. So I had to recover from my shower and the previous walk so that I could go on my major walk and get food for myself and some for the kitty cat last night. So, uh, I didn't get much done <clears throat> internet-wise, and I feel kind of bad about that, but I got a lot done life-wise, so that's good. I didn't really do anything... <coughs> excuse me. Didn't really do much past that. I didn't get anything great you know, I didn't build anything with my hands. I didn't play any of my solo RPGs. All I really did was play some Slime Rancher because with my ADHD, I haven't been able to go back to Ghost of Tsushima. I've forgotten where I was in Grim Dawn. I jumped to Block Story for a while. Now I'm playing Slime Rancher. Even taking the last of my Ritalin, which I shouldn't be doing, 
and taking Wellbutrin, my ADHD is largely out of control. I cannot focus. But a lot of that could well be the extrinsic factors. I do not sleep well, and I have had a lot of insomnia lately. Lack of sleep can really affect your cognition and ability to concentrate. And this eye is like really dry and tired right now. How odd. So that makes it you know, suspect right there. And I'm under a lot of stress going on with our rental stuff here and not knowing what's happening with various other portions of it and things are going on in other parts of my life. Ugh. So yeah, it might be just the ADHD. It might be life. <laughs> Add them together and hokey smokes. I'm lucky my brain hasn't exploded, so thumbs up for that. Yay. But I did sleep last night, and that's good. And I've mentioned how I have to wear this because I'm too cold. But I've got my fan on in the window because I'm too hot. So I need the space heater right here on at 65 because I'm too cold. Which is why I have the door open over there with the fan on because I'm too hot. I'm not comfortable. I'm too hot and too cold at the same time. Joy? Oh, I can't even remember where I was going with that, but I just needed to complain about that a bit. There's a little spider crawling on the wall back behind my monitors. It's uh, one of those small body, long, gangly leg spiders that just started crawling around. Yay! I, I've gotten to the point I like spiders. I mean, I don't like them on me. I don't like things like that. I don't want creepy crawlies on me. That's... It's not just spiders, that's just a primitive human fear of creepy crawlies. You know, I don't like bugs on me. I don't even like, as much as I like moths, I think moths are very, very cute. They're like cats with wings. As much as I like moths, I don't even like moths crawling on me. So, thumbs up for that. But, taking a last look at my list, Oh yeah, I remember I was talking about sleeping and stuff like that. I slept and, and oh yeah, it was to do with the heat and the temperature. I'm so sorry I have the ADHD. My sincere apologies. When I go to sleep, <clears throat> because I'm too cold, I have to put a fleecy blanket on. But because no matter what I wear when I go to bed, I'm also too hot, I can't cover up my feet anymore. Also, if I get too warm, my legs cramp. So thumbs up for that. So from like mid-calf down, my feet are, my, my legs are uncovered, while up above, I'm busy grabbing like the fleecy blankets to keep from getting cold, but my feet don't feel cold at all. They feel very comfortable. <sighs> Yay for life. <laughs> On the other hand, I have been doing a lot of creative thinking, even though I haven't been able to really tie things together because of everything that's going on in, in my head, because of everything that's happening in the world. Oy vey. But I'm going to talk for a bit about that because uh, the creative work that I do is also a lifeline for me amidst all the stress and tension. It is pleasurable and I hope one day to find the proper types of medications where I can be able to get through the ADHD, push the, the executive dysfunction, and be actually able to write the stuff down or else just try and do them as creative, talk out the stories rather than write the story for the other part of the channel. So we shall see what happens there. But talking about various things, there is a lot that I wanted to talk about because it's all kind of just uh, disparate small bits. They're way not uh, really having much to do with each other. But with the character, uh, blah, blah, the character that kind of started this whole thing in my head, Jerry Brighthammer, a guy that just, his cryptid sense goes to, now a, like a lace wing just flew by because I got my window open. How about that? But his, his human cryptid vision is maxed out. Human max. You, you just can't get any more than he has. And there are about three or four people in the world like that at any time. So they're rare, and, but not unheard of. It's just you don't expect to be 
in the area of one of these people. You hear about them and you go, wow, but you don't expect to, to, to have one in your town, but Jerry's there. And by custom and genetic imperative, human beings with cryptid vision are generally off the menu for cryptids because cryptids like to eat people. We're delicious. But just to get, come up on a quick run up on that, take a look on all of this stuff that I was going to talk about that, Jerry's view of stuff because he hangs around very dangerous cryptids just because it's interesting. Life is more interesting around the dangerous cryptids. And with the way he feels, he does not feel fear, but he knows when he should. He is too stoned to feel terrified. He's too high to feel scared. With his maxed out vision, he has, uh, with enough bleed through, he feels like he's on both euphorics and hallucinogenics at the same time. But while his mental, you know, conscious part of him is dealing with that, the subconscious part of him, well, he's got maxed out extra universal senses. There is nothing that can sneak up on this guy. He knows subconsciously where everything and everyone is doing in like a one mile radius around him. All of his extra universal senses are working overtime. So it's not like he's in danger, even though he doesn't feel scared. But he's hanging around with dangerous cryptids. And at one point, I figure there's enough of every time someone mentions they ate someone, conversation stops, they look over to Jerry, who has to say something along the lines of, it's all right, it's all right. And then conversation starts up again. You know, they're trying to be nice. You know, it's not using racial slurs because one of the people of that color is in the room and oops every time you slip up the conversation stops and everyone checks that one guy to make sure it's okay and then conversation starts back up again till finally Jerry just like stops what he's doing the last time that happens and I sort of wrote it down but it's <coughs> he's just saying look guys you do not need my approval or disapproval every time you mention eating somebody. It's okay. You've been eating people since the very, very beginning. It's baked into your DNA. I can't change that. I'm not going to beat my head against the wall trying to change that. And I get it. And that now there's like a mosquito was going for my face. Gotta love that. I so am. That's the, also the bad part of having bloody summer and fall last so long into winter. All these bugs should be dead now. I shouldn't have to worry about mosquitoes coming in through my open window in October. Anyway, as he says, I also understand we're delicious. I mean, I, I, I hear you talking about this all the time. Everybody. You talk about how good we taste. Everybody. Even cryptids that don't eat people are always talking about how they wish they could because we taste good. I get it. I hear you going on and on more than any food critic or restaurateur about how good our liver tastes, how wonderful just a handful of human hair tastes. I get it. You don't need my approval or disapproval. Don't worry about it. So that's just his short little outbreak. Also, it's just... He hangs around the dangerous cryptids because uh, it's actually interesting to watch some people get eaten. I mean, if you can disassociate from the horror and the fear that that would cause, it's, in his views, interesting because he can't stop it. It's going to happen whether he likes it or not. He cannot influence these characters as stated. It's baked into their DNA. He's not going to be able to change them. He's not going to beat his head on the wall and try. Especially since if he did try hard enough, uh, he'd be on the menu then. 
that uh, custom of not eating the human beings with the vision, that's kind of a generally just a custom, though there is more to it. So don't push the lines. So yeah, he likes to watch because he can't do anything about it. And, <laughs> isn't that wonderful? And then I also wanted to mention that, oh yes, I long, long time, there was like a long time ago, somebody who asked me in comments if there would be anything like a spider cryptid. And ever since then, I have had my subconscious working on it. I've mentioned it periodically, but I have come up with and thought about this character, Sonyo, which is a spider cryptid, because not the number of humanoid cryptids is actually very small. I just write and talk about them because urban cryptids, rural cryptids, I'm talking about places where people gather and the cryptids are starting to gather. The humanoid cryptids, more than the others, are starting to gather in these same cities. Rural areas and feral areas, humanoid cryptids are far more rare. You've got the plant, actual plant, actual animal cryptids and such. And so, there's Sanyo, the spider. And Sanyo is actually a fairly nice individual. Sanyo is actually lonely and wants to talk, but also understands that if a spider with a body the size of a golden retriever with then the uh, other legs that come out with that tries to talk to somebody, they're just going to run. So he generally has to quickly net somebody with a tossed bit of webbing so they don't dash. And then he tries to explain, hi, I just want to talk. I uh, don't plan on eating you. I will if I have to, but I would just like to talk. And if you don't stop screaming, uh, that's just going to show me you really aren't interested in. <sighs> so you don't want to talk. All right, then. Bite, inject, poison, slurp. So he wants to talk. So I figure at one point comes across one of these humans with the vision and he's on you know, slaps him with a bit of web and says, I just want to talk. I want to talk. But this person with the vision, luckily, not very arachnophobic. So Sanyo makes a friend. Yay. <laughs> uh, Sanyo is very well fed from uh, cryptid and human alike because even a lot of cryptids are... Uh, this, especially the humanoid types can get very freaked out by, you know, a, a very large talking spider. But, <laughs> I've also opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank however many people have left me comments in the past 24 hours. There's never many, but however many there are, thank you so very much. It is appreciated. As well as everybody who has watched this far, thumbs up and thank you. Greatly, greatly appreciated. No one forces you, and the fact that you do watch is very cool. Hey, if you could leave a comment in, you know, it down in the comments <laughs> to help boost things in the algorithm, say like, hey, I'm leaving a comment, or we'll come up with something smart for it later, but that would be cool. Anyway, though, if I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended, and even though I count American Sign Language, well... You've already seen my ADHD brain not work, so joy. We have R.L. Strange, uh, who had advice. There is Tin Tin Lee, thumbs up and thank you. There is Edward V. Garrick, greatly appreciated. J-A-Y-Y, I am so sorry that everything is happening, especially where you live. Holy smokes. I know it's not easy. Good God, please. Just stay as safe as you can. Hold it together as best you can. Good golly, Miss Molly. I am wishing the very, very best for you. Oh, boy. Good to see you in the comments. We have Christopher Studer. Thumbs up or stu I S T U D E R. I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. I betcha. Jesse Koskinen. Always good to see you in the comments. And thank you very much. There is 
cozy vibes, I would imagine. Thumbs up and I will see what I can do. Chris, greatly appreciated. Good to see you in the comments as well. And Ben B, thumbs up and good to see you as well. Thumbs up, definitely. Adrian FNTES, always good to see you too these days. Thumbs up. She's actually eating better, so I'm still not sure what's, what's going on. There is Jay Zanstra, thumbs up and thank you. Slick O Nick, greatly appreciated, thumbs up. And then we have Test 1 slash Test 2, thumbs up and thank you. That is 13 people who left me comments in the past 24 hours. Greatly appreciated. Get me out of my head, this head, and into the world dealing with real people. Thumbs up and thank you. Yay! Well, the day being Sunday, I'm still, I'm going to try and record something, whether that's a solo RPG or whether that is just a game something. I need that for as the skeleton to hang things upon. Habit and routine, because of my a neurotypicality, is very important. And disruptions in that tear everything apart. So even though there is no great call for my material online, it's still a form of habit and routine to keep me feeling good. So hopefully I'm gonna get something done today. Thumbs up on that. And of course, with diseases and such, just a raging out there in the world, still please take the appropriate precautions for your situation and your location. Just be smart. You don't need to get sick. You don't need to make other people sick. You don't need to suffer the long-term consequences of being sick. You don't need to toss your body or a stranger's body onto the end-of-life corpse pile before you gotta. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is a very good thing.